I like to here to give a study this morning. The study will be how ye. And we're going to start our study this morning in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, um, verse 1. Give ear, O you heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Those that are of the heaven as in celestially, and those that are of the earth uh, as in earthly. Um, you are to listen to the words of his mouth. He is speaking. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as a dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Doctrine as in so something properly received, an instruction on the part of a teacher or hearer, because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God, because I will publish as to call out an address the name of the Lord, that being of Yahweh. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He has also become my salvation as in Yeshua Savior. Trust you in the Lord forever, uh, for in the Lord Yahweh is an everlasting strength, that men may know that thy whose name alone is Yahweh aren't the most high over all the earth. Ascribe as to give. Four. He is the rock. His work is, self, is perfect, for all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he, for all his are judgment, uh, a God of truth. He is coming uh, for judgment and, and war. And I'm going to go over, hold your place, but I'm going to go over and read Revelation 19, um, verse 11. That is when he comes in on that war horse. And I saw heaven open, that being the supernatural realm opening up. This will be the seventh dimension of time uh, when the uh, heaven, the heavenly, the border between the heavenly and the earthly will be opened up. And behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. He's coming to judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, and he was clothed with the vesture, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of Almighty God. And he has on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. And then um, verse 5 of Deuteronomy 32, they have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. They are perverse as in false and crooked as in being crafty. That is being clever at achieving one's aims by indirect or deceitful methods. Uh, six, do you thus requite the Lord of foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that have brought thee? Have they not made thee and established thee? Requite as to make a appropriate return uh, for a, a favor. There will be the two fathers, the Elijah ministry, that being the first um, um, part of the Lord's day, the Lord's day being the five months broken up in, into two, two and a half month segments. The first uh, two and a half month will be the Elijah ministry. That is um, the early reign when he, when he will turn the heart of the fathers to the children uh, and, and the children to their fathers. Um, heavenly or earthly, uh, as in verse 1, give ear, O heavens, that are those that are of the heavenly father, listening to the heavenly father, and hear, O earth, those that are listening to the earthly father. Uh, you have that choice. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and he will show thee, thy elders and they shall uh, tell thee. Generations of the, um, they being of the seed line. There are the seed line of the stars as in heavenly and then there's the seed line of the sand, of the seashore. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. God's children can be numbered, being the 12, 12 meaning God's perfect governmental foundation, the nation of Israel as a whole, that prophetically being the 12 stars that will be in her crown. 
that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of a heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. The stars can be numbered, being the twelve that are in her crown, that will become the twelve thousand from each tribe of Israel, uh, the hundred and forty thor. 144,000, but the sand of the sea, uh, which cannot be numbered for the multitude. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling, howling as to admit a loud, sus uh, sustained, doleful sound, characteristics of members of a dog family, also to cry out loudly and without restraint under strong impulse, such as pain, grief, or amusement, to utter with unrestrained outcry. Uh, to drown out or cause to fail by uh, ad adverse outcry. And then I'm going to go over to Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 1. The word of the Lord came unto me, unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushai, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. Uh, Zephaniah mean, meaning covering, whether uh, literally a covering of an item as an overlay like gold or of a figurator covering of a watchman's surroundings by his watchful gaze, a watchtower also to store up, uh, hidden of Yahweh, and Gadaliah meaning to be strong, a great strong tower, Amariah meaning uh, to promise, command, Hezekiah means to become firm, strong, courageous, strength of the Lord. Josiah meaning given of the Lord. Yahweh heals, uh, fire made by Yahweh. Amon meaning a nourisher, a nurse, a motherland. They are seven in number and seven meaning spiritual completeness. Uh, two, and I will utterly consume all things from off the land, says the Lord. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as in the flesh, as brute beast in those things, they corrupt themselves. That land being of Judah, Judah prophetically will be those that are one in Christ Jesus. For you, brethren, have become the followers of churches of God, which are in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. I will consume man and beast, I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked, and I will cut off man from off the land, says the Lord. Uh, that being man as in the six-day man, and beast as in um, their beastly nature, uh, the lowest form of that six-day man of those that are of the swine flesh. Uh, and the fowls be in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird as the, of the Babylonian system. Uh, the black birds be in that ensign to let you know when that supernatural realm will open up, when the border will be lifted between the heavenly and the earthly. The black birds you will see at, fur at first, but soon they will take over the sky. Everywhere you look, you will see black birds. That will let you know that the supernatural boundary has been lifted and the spiritual battle has begun. The ba black birds are symbolic of the black mass wares that come when that star wormwood fell that brought the bitterness, that brought the calamity, that brought the laws, that brought the black mask. And we're going to go over and read of that in Revelation 8. Uh, starting with verse 10, and the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. It's not the lamp, but it burns as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Uh, wormwood means bitterness, but it also means a calamity. A calamity is an event that causes great and often sudden disaster, distress, destruction. We know destruction to be Apollyon, Abaddon. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That sudden disaster, distress, destruction that came upon us is the coronavirus. Corona meaning crown. Crown being a circular headdress worn by a monarch as a symbol of their authority. That being the authority of the laws that they have set up for the man savior. Um, that is when that they 
were wearing the started to wear the black mask. Um, there were a few at first, but they will multiply in number. Everywhere you will look, you will see black mask wearers. Black being the absence of light. Light being spiritual intellect, spiritual illumination. They are instead of darkness, wickedness. Um, the fishes of the sea. The sea being the people's multitudes, uh, nations, uh, uh, and tongues. Uh, that the beast um, will rise up out of. Uh, they are those uh, who uh, serve the beast and elevate the beast by keeping the laws he has set up, the stumbling blocks. They put in the way to, to prevent them from coming forth in the spirit, keeping them in the six-day man because Satan will have power over the six-day man of the flesh. Um, flesh being what will die, that is death. Um, that is the Death is the devil, um, the angel of death. For as much then as children are partakers of flesh and blood, he himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, and that is the devil. Uh, he is cleaning house. He being that cardio knower knows who are our true Judah over those who lie and say that they are Jews, Judah, but are the synagogue of Satan. Uh, he is cleaning Judah out. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place and the name of the Kimmerims uh, with the priest. Uh, my hand is in power upon Judah, that being when that old lion is roused up from its sleeping slumber. Jerusalem is a condition of truth. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Those that uh, serve the man savior that has been set up um, because of that star and wormwood that fell that brought the God of Asclepius, the God of healing, uh, from this place, as in Judah, because Judah is... Um, the tribe that will hold that ruling scepter, uh, his stretched out hand of power, uh, at verse four, who will bring those, who will bring the judgments upon those who serve uh, man over Yahweh. Uh, the Kimmerims, um, meaning idolatrous priest, and then five. And them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship and that swear by the Lord, and that swear by um, Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm, uh, they worship the stars over Yahweh, the star um, that fell in his host. Um, in Revelation 12, verse 7, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. Um, let me go over to Revelation 12. And they prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out onto the earth, and his angels were cast out um, with him. Um, Malcolm also means Moloch. Um, that is who they um, sacrificed their children to in the valley of Hinnom. This uh, was a valley close to Jerusalem, uh, the border markers of the territory of Judah. It became uh, the Greek word for Gihana, uh, translated into hell. That was the fire pit that was constantly burning where they would throw garbage and dead carcasses in to be burned. Uh, and then I'm going to go over to Jeremiah 19, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Go and get a potter's earthen bottle, and take of the ancients of the people, and of the ancients and the priest. Uh, the broken clay pots were discarded. Um, they were unusable vessels um, that they would discard into that burning pit, representing of the unusable vessels not fit for the potter. But now, O Lord, thy art our father, and we are the clay, and thou art our potter, and we are all are the work of thy hand and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter so he made it again another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to make it O house of israel cannot i do with you as the potter says the lord 
Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Thy precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, now aren't thy esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter. This brings a potter's earth bottle, uh, a vessel that the potter has accepted as a usable vessel to inhabit. And go forth into the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the east gate, and proclaim there the words that I shall tell you. That being that place of um, burning, this place of burning um, is that stumbling block to prevent God's children for entering into the east gate. The east was where the tribe of Judah camp. Uh, for you, brethren, to become the followers of churches uh, which are in Judea, uh, all, will be those that will be in Christ Jesus, um, which are in Christ Jesus. Also, the east is where the sun rises, representing of righteousness. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. These are words that I, as in the spirit of Yahweh, will speak. And say, hear you the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Behold, I will bring evil upon this place. The which whosoever heareth his ear shall tingle. Uh, tingle as a vibration. When a bell is struck, the metal will vibrate. Sounds will be created. When something vibrates, it shakes back and forth, sending waves of vibrations into the ears. This is the sound of your high priest Melchizedek when he comes to visit, visit you. That is when you will be sleeping and you will be woken up by like the sounds of church bells. They will ring twice as a double witness. The bells were on the bottom of the high priest's robe. This is your high priest Melchizedek coming to visit you. You will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him. This will be the quickening, making you spiritually alive, where you'll be able to spiritually see and spiritually hear. When you see this vision of this man sleeping with breath being blown on him, this will let you know that you have been anointed in the priesthood, Levitical priesthood of, of the end days under the high priest Melchizedek. It is Jesus Christ himself who will anoint his priesthood of the end days. He be in that cardio knower. Um, the kings of Judah be in God's uh, holy priesthood, anointed by him himself, uh, who will be acting judges. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest of matters? They are those that will clean house to prepare the way for that rightful heir to the throne. Uh, four, because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place and have burned incense into other, unto other gods whom neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Judah, and have filled this place with the blood of innocence to other gods. On the Lord's day, there is to be only one God and his name is one. For the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day. There shall be one Lord and his name one. These gods will come when Satan comes to this earth. They will be the angels that will come with him. You will know them um, by their black mask. Um, um, black being absence of light. They will inhabit those that refuse to come out. Um, um, of, um, when he calls that address to come out. So because of that, they will be inhabited. Um, let me go over to Revelation 18. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, that being of the perverse spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So if you are in this city, you will be taken over by this foul spirit because they are devils that the un, the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. They are coming to take over and become the vessels for the uh, perverse spirit. Okay, and then on um, verse 5 of... Um, Jeremiah 19, they have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons, 
with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, and spake it. Neither came it into my mind. They have exalted the man savior of the six day man of the flesh, um, the healer, um, the, the flesh healer, um, over the uh, soul healer, um, the soul savior. Um, the seventh day of the spirit, they refuse to come forth when the, when the address is called forth. Uh, on the seventh day, we are to rest, become one in marriage with Yahweh. Um, all flesh at that point will have come uh, through the earth, uh, through um, the uh, woman. It will be time uh, now for the seventh dimension of time, the, when um, there will be the birth uh, through the living waters. Um, the six-day man's labor and work will be finished. It is now time for them now to shut up and listen. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that this place shall no more be called Tophat, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. Tophat, located in the valley of Hinnom, where they offered their children to fire, as will parents will do anything to ensure their children's survival, offering them up to the god of Asclepius, that they have set up to save them through their sorceries. Um, the... That is how the people will be deceived. And I'm going to go over and read Revelation 18, verse uh, 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no mo more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Sorceries means medication, pharmaceutical, magic, witchcraft. Uh, the fire was considered a cleaning agent, a light bringer in a dark place. Abraham's sacrifice was an acceptable sacrifice on Mount Moriah, that being that spiritual staircase uh, to reach I am that awaits for us at the top, uh, Genesis 28. He condemns the burning of the innocent. The gate of Hinnom was called the potsherd gate. The word potsherd means to scratch or erase as of deleting incorrect or rejected information. The only one who is authorized to remove unwanted elements is the Lord himself. He being the judge. Our job is to repair, uh, heal, and teach. Although the laws of God are perfect, its function is to point out sin. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you compass the sea and, uh, and land to make one uh, proselyte as a person who was converted over from one opinion or party to another. And when he is made, you make him twofold more the, um, the child of hell than yourselves. That is being the, um, the lies um, of the six-day uh, man savior, uh, that fire pit, that stumbling block that stands in front of the east gate to prevent you from entering in. And I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hands of them that seek their lives. And their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beast of the earth. These being the dead carcasses that were thrown into the pit, the dead carcasses are void of the spirit. So they will be the meat for the fowls because they are coming in to inhabit and take over the flesh man. That will be those black mask wearers. Beasts are those beastly like nature that Lucifer has elevated over God's children. They be in the lowest form of flesh, that swine flesh. And I will make this city desolate and a hissing, and everyone that passeth thereby shall be astonished and is hissed because of all the plagues thereof. Hissing as in um, the snake and its hiss. That is why we are to come out, because the plagues are coming to the city. Um, uh, Revelation 18. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to read that. Revelation 18. I will read. I'll finish reading. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, angel being a spiritual messenger. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is falling, is falling, and has become the habitation of devils, 
and the hold of every foul spirit and a, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, as in that sorcery. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double into her double according to her works, and the cup which she has filled to her double. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much tor torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I sit a queen, and I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off from the fear of her torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. You are to listen while you still can. Nine, and I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters, and they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend and the siege and straightness wherewith their enemies, and they that seek their lives shall straighten them. Um, eat as to devour, take over spiritually devoured. If you do not have the seal of his protection, that is truth, you will be devoured because they are supernatural and they are much wiser and stronger physically than we, the flesh man is. You will not be able to stand against them when they come. They will come with great numbers and great hostility towards God's children. 10. And then shall thy break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with thee. And shall say unto them, Thus say the Lord of hosts, Even so will I break this people in this city, as one breaketh a potter's vessel that cannot be made whole again, and they shall bury them in Tophat, till there be no place to bury. Thus will I do unto this place, says the Lord, and to the inhabitants thereof, and even make this city as Tophat. And the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the kings of Judah shall be defiled as the place of Tophat because of all the houses upon whose roofs they have burned incense unto all the host of heaven and have poured out drink offerings unto other gods. Then came Jer Jeremiah from Tophat, whether the Lord had sent him to prophesy, and he stood in the court of the Lord's house and said to all the people, this be in the court, this is where the Gentiles could come, he is speaking to, to those that are uncircumcised. Thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon the city and upon all her towns all the evil that I have pronounced against it, because they have hardened their necks, that they might not hear my words. And this be in the Lord of hosts, the host be in the vessels that will hold his spirit, the God of Israel. And then I'm going to go over to Zechariah 11, verse 1. Open thy doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour um, thy cedars. Lebanon, being known for its trees and mountain range, its natural features, not as a, a specific state or nation. Lebanon means white, as in the snow-capped mountains. It was known for its natural resources and beauty. Lebanon, being uh, within the promised land, uh, every place where you set your foot will, will be um, your territory. It will extend from the desert to Lebanon. The cedar tree, it was used in the construction of the temple, a symbol of thriving, flourishing. How how fir tree, for the cedar is fallen because the mighty are spoiled. Hallow you oaks of Bashan, for the force of the vintage, vintage has come down. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is spoiled, a voice of the roaring of young lions, for the pride of Jordan is spoiled. God's glory will not shine except in those that have taken of the marriage um, uh, with being one in Christ Jesus. Um, when the four winds are released, God's Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from this earth. It will only be in those that have taken of the marriage. The young lions are those who came to take over the pride. They are fierce. The, um, 
The roaring shall be like a lion. They shall roar like, roar like young lions. Yea, they shall roar and lay hold of their prey and shall carry it away safe and none shall deliver it. The lions that were on the walls of the processing way leading um, from the gate of Ishtar into the city of, um, of Babylon, they were pictured on each side of the walls, um, these ferocious lions. Uh, four, thus say the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter, feed them with truth. Um, they will be cut down by the sword, but they are to be built up by it also. It is a double-edged sword. Who, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. These be in the soul merchandisers, the murderers of souls. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord, but lo, I will deliver the men, every one into his neighbor's hand, into the hand of his king, and they shall smite the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. Them being those that refuse to listen to that address to come out. And I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me two stabs, the one I called beauty, and the other I called bands, and I fed the flock. Stabs being a shoot, a staff, a rod. Also used for correction, um, that being the sword of the Lord, the word of God. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron." One is beauty, not as an outward, not in outward beauty as in the flesh to look upon, but the inward. His branches shall spread, and his beauty shall be as the olive tree, and his smell as Lebanon. Uh, one thing um, thy has desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And the other I called bands, as to wind tightly, to prevent, destroy, spoil, corrupt. For he commanded the unclean spirits to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, and, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters. And he broke the, the bands, and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And I, uh, that being Yahweh, fed the flock. And then... um. Seven, and I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I, okay, and then eight, three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and their soul also abhorred me. And I'm going to go, hold your place there. I'm going to go over to Ezekiel uh, chapter 34. And I'm going to read 1 through 31. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus say the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? You eat the fat and you clothe you with the wool. You, you are not to eat of the fat and you are not to clothe with the wool. The priests are to wear fine linen. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. The disease have you not strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick. Neither have you bound up that which was broken, neither have you brought again that which was driven away, neither have you sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. You are not healing their souls. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered because they are not sealed with truth. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth and none did search or seek after them. They don't care. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves, and fed not my flock. Therefore, O you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord, thus say the Lord God, because I Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. 
There is to be one shepherd on the Lord's day, and his name is one, one voice. For thus say the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. He will gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. Uh, as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in that day, in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep. He knows who they are and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day, that being when the Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from this earth. And I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and all the inhabited places of the country. And I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be high as in the celestially. And there shall they lie in a good fold and a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock and I will cause them to lie down says the lord god and i will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away and i will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick and i will destroy the fat and the strong and i will feed them with judgment and as for you O my flock thus say the lord god behold i will judge between cattle and cattle between the rams and the he goats seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture but you must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures and to have drunk of the deep waters, but you must foul it with the residue with your feet, cloudy in and up the living waters, making it murky so you not be able to see clearly. And as for my flock, they eat that which you have trodden with your feet and they drink that which you have fouled with your feet. Thus, therefore, thus say the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, because you have thrust with side and with shoulder and pushed all the disease with your horns, till you have scattered them abroad, horns being of power. Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them. Uh, even my servant David, he shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd. Uh, David meaning the beloved. And I, the Lord, be their God and my servant David, a prince among them. And I, the Lord, have spoken it. And I will make them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beast to seize out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. And I will make them in the places round about my hill a blessing and I will cause a shower to come down in his season. That will be the showers of blessing. And the trees of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase, and they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them, and they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the land uh, devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none uh, shall make them afraid. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, Yahweh. Yo, though I, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thy art with me. Uh, thy, rod and thy, thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. Thy preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thy anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay. And then... Jeremiah 25, verse 34. How you, you shepherds, and cry and wallow yourselves in the ashes, you principal of the flock, for the days of your slaughter and your dispersions uh, pers uh, are accomplished, and you shall fall like a pleasant um, vessel. Uh, principle as in powerful mighty, mighty gallant thy didst blow with thy wind the sea covered them they sank in the mighty waters woe unto us 
who shall deliver us out of the hand of these of, of these mighty gods these are the gods that smote the egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness and the shepherds shall no way have no way to flee nor the principle of the flock to escape a voice of the cry of the ship shepherds and the howling of the principle of the flock shall be heard for the lord has spooled their pasture and the peaceable habitations are cut down because of the fierce anger of the lord he has forsaken his covert as the lion for their land is desolate because the fierceness of the oppressor and because of his fierce anger they will no longer have power over the people. They will be exposed for the false shepherds they are. Because um, um, Yahweh is a cardio knower. He knows who those that, um, that are of true Judah and those that lie and say that they are um, Jews of Judah um, but lie and are the synagogue of Satan. He, or, he will expose them by the sword of the Lord. You, there is to be one shepherd on the Lord's day. You cannot speak for the Lord on the Lord's day unless he has anointed you to do that. He will anoint his elect. And that being when you see that vision of that man sleeping with breath being blown on him. Go, uh, I'm going to go to James um, chapter 5, verse uh, 1. Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, uh, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord. Um, um, so bad. So bad. Um, uh, as in the host of heaven. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and have been wanton. You have nourished your hearts as in, as in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just, and he does uh, and he does not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and has long patience for it until he receive the early and the latter rain. Uh, the early and the latter rain, the, um, that being the last uh, five months, the Lord's day split into two and a half month segments. The first two and a half months being the Elijah ministry, that being when the hearts will be turned to their fathers, the heavenly or fleshly. And the latter rain is when he will come in and inhabit the vessel he chooses to speak through as his high priest um, on this earth. That will be the two witnesses. And then the two witnesses will present Yahweh to the elect and the elect will present Yahweh to the 144,000. That is when we will be given the meat. Uh, eight, be you also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. We are to be patient and wait for him. He might tarry, but he will come. Grudge not one against another, brethren, unless you be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Standeth before the door. The door being that two-leaved uh, door, that being the door of your heart that opens up the way to the altar that he can inhabit. Take my brethren, uh, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which in endure. You have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. And I'm just going to go over and read Job 42, uh, 12 through 15. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning, for he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she-asses. Um, the latter end being prophetically the last part of the two and a half months when we come forth in the spirit. He also had seven sons and three daughters, seven 
um, being spiritual completeness, sons being the builders of the family and the spirit, three is in the Holy Spirit, daughters representing of the spiritual side of man. And he called the name of the first um, Jemima, uh, meaning uh, dove. Um, this word is more like um, the word for sea. Uh, she who acts like the sea. And on uh, the name of the second, uh, Keziah, uh, as to be um, cornered, uh, set in corners, a corner structure. And the name of the third, um, Karen Hapa, um, means to uh, radiate with um, beautiful eyes, a horn or a ray. Behold, thy art fair, my love. Behold, thy art fair. Thy has uh, dove eyes. And then, um, let's see. And then, uh, in all the land, um, Job forty two fifteen. In all the land were no women found so fair as the daughter of Job, and their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. No woman, a woman is a womb that will bring forth children. Their father as their heavenly father, Yahweh, um, that was Joseph who was given the blessing of the firstborn. Moreover, I have given to thee one portion above thy brethren, which I took out of the hand of the Amorite with my sword and with, with my bow. The blessings of the father have prevailed above the blessings of uh, my progenitors unto the utmost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be upon the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. Joseph meaning may he add the increaser. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod and the angel stood saying arise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And we're going to end this for today, elect. You have a great day until the morning.